It's not so secret that K-pop idols show their hottest and sexiest side in their K-pop dance moves or in general, but is it okay if the K-pop idols who 14 or 15 doing the same thing? You might be thinking that this channel gone mad, but not yet. Here are some K-pop idols who are being sexualized on camera. Number 5. Nikki. Nikki is 16-year-old a former member of K-pop group Enfian. Enfian released their new MV Fever on May 2021 at that time Nikki was 15 years old, where the song was very catchy and was hit already, but many fans noticed that the choreography of Fever was very sexy for underage member of the group. One fan said that the choreography of Enfian's Fever is slow and have many hip rolls which gives the sexy vibes. Where another Reddit user said that, he looks way more comfortable performing Fever than Drunk Dazed, 10 months, and not for sales. He also said this is his favorite song on the album and mentioned before that he wants to try sexy concept. Well I'll leave it to you whether this is being sexualized or not. Number 4, Somi, Mina and Natty. Somi, Natty and Mina was participated in the 16th. Well let me tell you that 16 was a 2015 reality girl group survival show. On episode 7 Somi, Natty and Mina performed Who Is Your Mama song, this is the song of JYP featuring Jesse. While this song has many double meanings and was completely for adults still this song was performed by Somi who was 14, Natty who was 13 and Mina who was 18. Many fans said that, the fact that this song in performed by a 13-14 year old girls. While others said this is kinda embarrassing because Somi's dad was also an audience. What do you think was it being sexualized or not? Number 3, New Jeans. New Jeans is a girl group debuted on July 22, 2022 under the Hybe label's subsidiary company named ADOR. There are five members in this group from the age of 14 to 18. New Jeans released their pre-debut single Attention and then Hype Boy. On August 1st, New Jeans released their debut single Cookie. But before telling what's wrong with Cookie MV, let's talk about the executive director of New Jeans Min Hee Jean. Trigger warning, the following video includes mentions of pedophilia that some viewers might find disturbing. First know what is pedophilia, pedophilia is a sexual perversion in which children are the preferred sexual object. With that being said let's see what is the matter. As soon as the new genes made their debut rumors started spreading around about Min Hee Jean is under fire for being pedophilic. Min Hee Jean was a former creative director for SM Entertainment. There was a time where she made Taemin of Shiny do a shirtless photoshoot when he was minor. The accusations claimed that Min Hee Jean used the idols to sell the pedophilic concepts where minors were being sexualized. It seems like the new single from New Jeans, titled Cookie, is proof of just that and fans are unhappy with it. By 2019, Min Hee Jean began working under HYBE Corporation as its chief brand officer and was appointed as CEO for its subsidiary label ADOR in 2021. She is also the mind behind the creative direction and development of HYBE and Odd Air's first ever girl group, New Jeans, who as of writing, has amassed a large following after the release of their songs and concept. Now let's back on the song of Cookie. Within few hours after releasing their second single New Jeans gained so much attention from netizen. Fans noticed something in lyrics of the song. Fans said in this song girls saying look at my cookie, which made fans to point out the sexuality in the song. And considering the age of the members, which is around 14 to 18 is not right for them. The lyrics are something like, look at my cookie come and take a looky, you want it don't you, I wanna see you eat it, eat my cookie. This made fans think isn't there 2004 to 2008 liners? Also they added Min Hee Jin's career is over. Another fan said people trivializing the meaning of the song into about baking literal cookies. As if anyone would make a song about baking cookies with lyrics like, look at my cookie, I wanna see you taste it, please be serious. One fan tweeted, y'all taking people's criticism on cookies lyrics as an attack on new jeans, y'all have it twisted. It's concern for this girls. Whoever approved of the lyrics and allowed them to sing is disgusting. People are worried, people are so concerned about underage kids doing things or we can say company made them do this. Fans are saying that underage girls or boys shouldn't debut at this age to begin with. What do you think company should allow underage girls or boys debut at this young age? Comments down below. Number 2 Zui. It is not so surprised that entertainment company could do anything to appeal the crowd, as they said sex sells. No matter how young the idols may be, entertainment companies find ways to sexualize them. Although it is not done openly, but somehow it happens regardless the gender and age of the artist. So you can say it's done by lyrics, clothes, or any dance moves. There was a time when this type of thing happened to twice-membered Suyi. She was about 15 years old when she was dressed in a fairly revealing, 
tight outfit while dancing sexily in an elevator. It looks like she's being essentially peeked at because the camera is made to look like it's the one in the corner of the elevator, and she otherwise thinks she's alone. She then covers up with a trench coat and fixes her clothes when someone else walks into the elevator. Number 1. Won Young. Won Young was 14 when she performed Side to Side by Ariana Grande. During Produce 4-8 she was one of the most popular contestants and actually won the show, people fell for her charm, vocals, and of course her dancing. The only thing is she was 14. Her performance of Side to Side is what really made fans realize the sexualization of Won Young. Her singing about sex and doing dances with her but as the focus point was kinda awkward. One fan said girl groups generally have primarily older male audiences. It's just really horrible how a lot of companies seem to push the sexualization of these young girls to get them more popular. It's a part of idol life, but I wish it wasn't. In 2014 a bill passed by the Korean National Assembly in January will go into legal effect July 29th, following the six-month notification period with the aim of improving working conditions in the local entertainment sector. It will also be illegal to coerce minors into wearing revealing stage costumes or dancing sexually suggestive choreography routines. Breaking the law will result in a recommendation of correction from the culture ministry, and failure to comply will yield a fine of roughly $10,000. In addition, one can face up to five years in prison for forcing underage talent to act out rape or sexual harassment scenes. But does K-pop industry really follow this law or they have to make some strict law for this current situation? What do you think? comment down below. See you in the next video, till then stay tuned for next video. Bye!